Hey guys, I'm actress Mara Lopez. Pes ngayon po ay pinapanood ninyo ang Imano Bangumiwa Rise and Shine. Kono Bangumiwa Film Creative na take you de Okrishimas. <laughs> I think I nailed it. <laughs> I am the lead actress of the film Canada Dreamweaver, directed by Ida Anita Del Mundo. This is a movie that we shot in Lake Cebu, South Cotabato, Mindanao, Philippines, and it really touches on the cultures and traditions and beliefs of the Tiboli people. And I play a young Tiboli princess named Kana, and it's kind of like a coming of age story of how she becomes a dreamweaver. So uh, yeah, it's um really really happy to be here, especially now that. It's Indigenous Peoples Month. It's really an honor to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Month by sharing this film with everyone here in San Diego. Well, for the film Canada Dreamweaver, my director really wanted to make it as authentic as possible and as um, true to be able to really share the traditions of the Tiboli. So we actually spoke their native language, uh, the Tiboli language, and it is completely different from any dialect in the Philippines, very, very different from Tagalog. It was a completely different language, and it took about two months for the whole cast to learn the language. I had a language coach, a lot of audio guides um, prior to filming. And during filming, I had a language coach as well. Um, I think it made it easier that um, I actually speak three languages. I speak English, Tagalog, and Japanese. And I'm pretty good at memorizing. So I think that made it easier to learn this new language. Um, and we had a script and because of the language coach and we were actually working with the Tibolis, a lot of the supporting characters were locals in South Cotabato. So that made things a little bit easier for me in portraying my role as Kana. So Kana the Dreamweaver was actually shot in 2014 and we had our world premiere, our very first premiere in the Cinemalaya Film Festival. It's one of the most prestigious film festivals in the Philippines. And after that, it traveled the world. So we've been, me and my director, Ida, um, aside from all around the Philippines, we went to Japan, the, I, the Aichi um, Jose Koksai Egasai. That's the International Women's Film Festival in Aichi, Japan. We also went to New York, London, um, Amsterdam, and now we're here in San Diego. And last year, two years ago, I was in London. So Kanad the Dreamweaver has been traveling all over the world and it's really, been amazing to be able to share the, the the cultures and traditions of Tibolis because even as a Filipino, I actually did not even know that the Tibolis existed until I auditioned for the role. And it was really like a different world when I went to um, Lake Cebu and South Cotabato to be able to see their way of dream weaving and how the, 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 the clothes they wore, it was very, very kind of almost like a fantasy world for me. It was very beautiful and everyone was so welcoming and yeah learning about their language and it was very very overwhelming so being able to share that with not just the filipinos out of the philippines but you know to every other nation that we visited from japan to the uk and in the us it's been a pretty amazing experience to just be able to share this story yeah, well, I'm definitely open to a lot of things. I do have a lot of projects in the Philippines that have been put on hold. And also, I would always feel like, I always felt like Philippines is always going to be home for me. Um, me moving to Sonoma was just a COVID thing. And I know with COVID, a lot of people's lifestyles changed. And I was just grateful to be able to be close to family during the pandemic. And definitely, yes, I am open to doing some auditions and finding possibly finding an agent here. Um, I have been doing a lot of um, Zoom script readings and that kind of gets the you know artistic juices flowing during COVID. So it's been pretty fun doing those things and meeting, being able to meet filmmakers from all over the world has been pretty interesting and fascinating, so. Hey, don't forget that new episodes drop every Tuesday on YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you download your favorite podcast. So don't forget to subscribe to us so you don't miss a single episode. Of course, as a mother, I'm very proud that, you know, Mara is um, following into my footsteps, walking the different red carpets of different film festivals around the globe. And uh, the film tonight, Canada Dreamweaver, um, I'm proud to say that this has been shown in different parts of the world, uh, including the Women's Film Festival in Aichi, Japan. Yeah, so I'm just so happy that everything has been like um, going great because in her first film, she won the Best Actress Award and last year, she just won for her movie Jesusa, the Best Supporting Actress Award in London. 
So I, I'm just like really proud of her achievements. Congratulations to my daughter. Hashtag mother daughter, like mother like daughter. Are you following us on socials? What? You're not? How dare you? I mean, you totally should. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We even have a mailing list. We're at Rise and Shine FAC. That's Rise and Shine FAC. Or click like here. It'll take you right there. You don't got to do nothing else. So what are you waiting for? Like us, follow us, subscribe. See you there. Hi, we are the Phil Am Film Collective. This is Marissa. I am Trixie. And this is Adrian. And as the Film Film Collective, we're all about the representation of Filipinos and Filipino Americans. And how we do that is through community events like writing sessions. We've also made scene recreations. And we're all just about developing our crafts as filmmakers and storytellers. And with that being said, you can follow our journey through our YouTube channel or at our um, Instagram page through the Film Film Collective. And we can't wait for you all to join us in this journey. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, hey, I know what you're doing. You're sitting there liking what we're doing over here. So do me a favor, hit that like button, add a comment. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, tell me what you feel. What are you waiting for? Do it now. Hi, my name is Grayson Bulan and you're watching Rise and Shine with Phil Am Creative. So uh, A.S. Ferguson is about a 40 year old man who gets fed up um, with, uh, because he was being cheated out of his wages by his employers. Um, and because he's an illiterate indigenous man, so he decides to go to grade one or to enroll in grade one. And so over the next eight years, I follow his educational journey, um, the ups and downs of his life and what he does with that education. So um, that's one of actually one of the things that um, I found very charismatic about him is that he likes to sing, he likes to make people laugh, he likes to be with children. Um, and I could see like his youthful energy whenever he's surrounded by children. And it quickly shifts or it quickly um, yeah, shifts into like being an adult once he's back with his family, once he needs to take care of his wife and his kid. He has always dreamt of um, pursuing high school, but because um, like, in the film, he he had to make a choice whether, you know, he would continue his educational journey or he would pass it the, the opportunity to his son. And so what he does is he passes it on to his son and he just takes on the role of a father and uh, like the, the provider. And yeah, so he he thinks that it's more important um, to give the, the opportunity to someone else because uh, his son is younger and like he felt like he couldn't retain enough information because of his age and because of everything um so yeah well actually i um through this film um i wanted people to take away like this message that even though like you you persevere and you make all these you know sacrifices um, it always doesn't end in a happy story. It's not a fairy tale kind of story. Um, uh, if you're, you know, stuck in a very exploitative system, people like Augustine, which is representative of many of our indigenous brothers and sisters in the Philippines, they will never prosper. They will never thrive because the system always brings them down. So that's one of the key takeaways that I wanted people to get from the film. Hey, did you know that you can make a tax deductible donation to us? Check it out. Rise and Shine is produced by Philam Creative, and we're an official registered nonprofit organization. So if you like programming like Rise and Shine, why don't you Venmo us a couple of bucks, some quid, and we'd really appreciate it. So you can Venmo us at Philam Creative. That's at Philam Creative. And hey, thanks for watching Rise and Shine. Hi everyone, I'm actress surfer Mara Lopez. You are watching Rice and Shine by Film Creative, and I am having the best hair day ever. Minasan Yokohama Mara to Moshimas. Kono bangumi wa Rice and Shine. Kono bangumi wa. Sumimasen, minasan. Maria san wa zenzen nihongo wa wakarimasen shita. Sonna kono bangumi wa ba.